Hi, this is ESC Today. We're in the Shadow Lounge for the UK preview party, and we're with the, this year's Eurovision entry from Cyprus, John Lily Green and the Islanders. Hi, guys. How you doing? Okay. Uh, perhaps you can introduce yourselves, if you don't mind. John, hi. Hi, I'm John Lily Green. I'm from Newport, and I'm not from Cyprus. I am. I'm Sean Watts, and I'm from Chrysero, and I'm not from Cyprus either. <laughs> where's where's Chrysero? In uh, a valley in South Wales. Yeah. I'm Catherine, also not from Cyprus, from Devon. <laughs> I'm Sylvia. Um, I'm from Norway, which is where Eurovision is going to be. I do love Cyprus, but I'm not from Cyprus. Hi, my name's Jonathan. I um, I'm from Scotland actually, and uh, we are all representatives of, of Cyprus, and we're very very proud to be representatives Yay! of Cyprus. So. Yay! You love it. <laughs> so, how does a Welsh boy from Newport Gwent get to represent Cyprus in Eurovision Sound Contest? Right. Well, <laughs> basically, um, there was uh, two songwriters from Cyprus. Um, basically, put up an idea on the internet. Um, they got in contact with Goldish Productions, which is what Sylvia and John run together. <laughs> All right, that was lovely. But yeah. <laughs> And, uh, so basically, Nassos and Melise, two gentlemen from Cyprus, um, sent a basic idea to John and Sylvia in their studio. And um, they, they polished it up, they put drums and, you know, the sort of old piano. And then I got involved and I sang on the track and played some acoustic. And then they sent it back to them. Um, without us knowing, they entered it for Eurovision. And then it got in for, like, you know, the, the top ten sort of Cyprus run-ins and, and, and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Nassos heard, heard my vocals and he asked if I could go up there on my own but I was no I, I don't feel like going out on my own I've been nervous but then we got the Islanders together that's you know so we, we, all, we all decided to come up to Cyprus together and represent rock hard so you know okay. so what are you doing what's your part of the band I'm a backing singer in the band along with uh, Catherine there and your job is I play piano and sing backing vocals and I also arranged the track with John there and we produced the track as well okay. John are you going to be on the stage as well I am I'm going to be drumming I started out as a drummer but now I'm a music producer so I produced the track and I'm also performing in it which is really good for me I'm really happy it's, a, <laughs> it's it's going to be a huge gig for you. I mean, millions of people. How do you feel about that? Well, very excited, of course, but a little bit nervous. Maybe I am. I don't know about anyone else. <laughs> Certainly, I speak for myself. I, think, but I, I really think the nerves. Sorry, Kath. No, no, no. You go for it. I think the nerves are really going to start kicking in in the time when we get to yeah. Oslo because I think we're all trying to put it at the back of our minds at the minute and yeah. practice, mm. work hard. We've got other jobs to do. In the meantime, we've got to pay the bills. Yeah. And yeah. it's. Uh, and I hear you're going to be disappointed because uh, going to Cyprus, singing for Eurovision, because you had a job. What are you going to try for X Factor or something? No. <laughs> We, we, Who told you that? We, we wouldn't let him join the expert, don't know, it'd be so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Can I just say, yes. Sean belongs to me now, and I say <laughs> what he does. <laughs> he is one of us. There's a, there's a word for that. He doesn't know it, but he signed a contract last night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have you guys been back and forth to Cyprus a lot since uh, winning the national final? Yeah, a we've times. well, we went back a couple of about a month ago, I think. Yeah. So and we had an amazing time, especially yeah, I think great. John was given flowers. He thinks flowers are quite impractical. <laughs> <laughs> so that that was new to you, wasn't it, John? It was new to me. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't want to sort of show anyone the disrespect because, of course, if someone hands you flowers, it's it's honestly it's like a very considerate and thing to do. It's like you know, we these are for you, and it was fantastic. But you know, I was getting into a taxi with this massive bouquet of flowers, thinking. What am I supposed to? I, I don't know what to do now. I'm like, I'm, I'm, but we we got into the hotel room and there was like a sort of small tub, so I filled that with water and I left them in there. It was actually the bin. It was. It was, a, <laughs> it was actually the bin. It wasn't the bin. It was, well, it was a tiny bin. It wasn't a baddest bin like where I'm from. They're big bins, yeah, because we have a lot of rubbish. <laughs> but yeah, so I, you know, I, I put them good use. So they're, they're still there in the back of my mind, like the flowers. I'm I'm expecting another bunch next time we go back out to Cyprus. I want loads just so I can make a big suit out of flowers. That's my new idea. <laughs> a flower suit. Let's see if you can do it. Go on, just go nuts. Lots of You're flowers. You're supposed to give your costume ideas away. Oh no, crap. But you you have uh, flowers, but I'm sure you're after a new guitar. What do you? 
won't do because I've seen better days. Oh well, she's uh, she's a bit beat up. She has got tape on her, but I mean, I, I've just recently bought a new pickup, so rather than spend money getting it installed at the bottom, I've just taped the jack here, so it's just easy. And you know, it just saves me money, and that means I can spend more money on partying hard and going out with all my friends. And I see you've got a tattoo there. Yes. Do you have any more tattoos you want to tell us about? Oh, no, just this one. This was um, purely for Eurovision because, you know, it's not very often that people from Wales get to represent, you know, a sort of country on the other side of the globe to them. And, it, you know, it just kind of, to me, it just dawned on me. It was just like, here you go. It's, it's, a, it's a musical note with a smiley face because music makes me happy. So it's all good. And, you know, I just thought I'd get it. Just go nuts. And, of course, a lot, a lot of people are going to see it when they watch this live. So it's just kind of a thing like everybody can see. It's better than having one on my backside. You know, because not many people would see that one. So everyone can have a look. You've got to look at Sean's tattoo because in Oslo, you've got to be 21 to get into a lot of the pubs. So any bouncers in Oslo, if Sean comes to your pub, turn over, Sean. Show us, Sean. Ah. Da- date of birth. Yeah, yeah. Just in case you forget. <laughs> that is the stage. You can see how classy people from. Uh... <laughs> I'll say no more. I'm from that neck of the woods as well. Uh, uh, when, peop- when people from Norway see this on the internet, they're going to know that I'm not the age to get in the clubs. <laughs> it's too expensive to drink there anyway, so don't worry about it. I'm not. I don't drink anyway. <laughs> they say it's too expensive to drink there, so you shouldn't worry about it. No, no. I don't drink anyway. We've, uh, we've got a plan. I- I'm not going to say it, but maybe I will. We thought we might invade the bar and put a British flag on it and say British prices on this bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated getting them missiles through uh, customs though but anyway <laughs> <laughs> okay back to your revision guys what oh, yeah. what are you going to do on the stage have you decided how you're going to do the routine or the performance of the song he did he did just give away the whole flower suit <laughs> thing yeah which which might um it's going to be difficult to get the flowers on the horses i think <laughs> but apart from that what we're planning is to just play Amen. and rock hard yeah. that's our, that's our that's it aim. that's it I yeah mean, we were, we were sort of looking at a lot of the kind of, you know, the dress up and the whole, you know, there's a very sort of glitzy and glamorous side to the Eurovision, where the more visual aspect of it, but we don't want visuals, we want, we want to please your ears and not your eyes, you know, so it's just, we want to, we just want to sort of really rock out and like play music, because we're all musicians, you know, we wake up in the morning, we're musicians, we go to sleep at night, we're musicians, so we just want to, we just want to let as many, well, you know, when I say as many people, like millions and millions of people, like we're not interested in kind of doing the whole routine of just the show and the, and how we look we just want to play music and hopefully people will judge how good the song is and you know see that we're all good musicians and you know just vote purely for the song you know we re- we love playing together i think that's the yeah any chance of an album together maybe um we- we've got a few original tracks now that we're going to play for the first time tonight actually one of them we did play on bbc radio wales yeah. so so uh Hopefully a couple of... Uh, our track is out on the 24th on iTunes. It's downloadable on the 24th of May on iTunes, the Cypress entry, so... And what has the reception been like in Wales to you guys taking part in your revision? Well, oh. sorry, sorry. Um, because the, the, track were, <laughs> the track was recorded in our back bedroom, uh, in our terraced house, so we've had BBC in our terraced house, both radio and TV, and a lot of newspapers. We've had Norwegian tabloids, Norwegian um, national television as well, in, in our little streets. So that's been quite fun, I think. It's been a lot of... But people are... John was saying, yeah, a lot of people who don't watch Eurovision normally are saying that this year they're going to watch it, which is fantastic. So you'll get the Welsh vote for sure. Guys, thank you very much. We're going to stop now because Neil Kavanagh is doing a sound check. But we'll talk again a bit later. Thank you. I say good luck to everybody in Eurovision this year yeah. because, uh, yeah. Good luck. Let's go back. Yeah. <laughs>